stupendous. Iconic. Inspiration. Incandescent. Amazing tapestry of the things she loves and has brought to life. She's my Isabella. When Isabella Stewart Gardner was here, the Gardner Museum was filled with energy. It was about people, it was about scholars, it was about artists, and for many years after her death, nobody understood that, perhaps, and the place became a little bit of a mausoleum. It, it was absolutely a wonderful museum at that time, but it did not have the kind of excitement and that sense that, frankly, you can come here every day and experience something new. I think Anne has transformed the institution. She just uh, put life into a sleeping beauty, if you will. Once I understood the, really, the audacity, the scope of vision that Anne and her board had, and the scope of their programming, the five cornerstones, you know, the historic collection, contemporary art, education, music, and landscape, uh, she's endowed each of the curatorial positions. She's also built this extraordinary new wing. Because the whole atmosphere is unlike any other place, and I think visitors respond to it. She's really always been about making the best quality programs for people. The first hire she made was me. We, we got music going immediately. <laughs> Anne has, you know, a profound love of art and of life. Very cool lady. Every time you come, you have the opportunity to, to have a different aha moment in a different um, part of the building. To make the gardener an essential part of the lives of Boston children. So she has brought this museum alive and, and in a way that, uh, frankly, Mrs. Gardner uh, is smiling about today. Anne Holly is leaving the institution completely transformed. The institution no longer looks backwards, but very much looks forward. She's a force of nature. Anne has been a transformative leader, and I think um, we can look obviously at the new spectacular Renzo Piano building and know how much that has changed the museum. And she's been just so insistent about having a canary singing here every day so that the public, you know, feels welcome again. That's birds. Then there are rabbits. Anne hates bunnies. And geese. <laughs> She lifted everyone and brought out facets of Gardner that no one had ever thought of. I think Anne leaves the museum positioned beautifully to go forward. I think it's in very good shape today, thanks largely to her. The museum is poised right now for, for greatness. Anne has really reinvented the Gardner for the 21st century, and I think that will be her legacy. She has brought this museum alive, she has made it relevant, and she has made it an important part of the cultural scene in this city in a way that uh, I think is only going to continue to grow in the years to come.